name El Roy only occurs once in the Bible in the book of Genesis. It's spoken by Hagar, the Egyptian slave of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Cast out after bearing Abraham's son Ishmael, they found themselves wandering in the desert. Ishmael was slowly being overcome by the desert heat, feverish and dizzy, and Hagar couldn't do anything other than to watch helplessly as the boy began to slowly succumb to death by thirst. In that moment, as Hagar cried out to God in desperation, God spoke to her, saying, What's the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift him up, take him by the hand, for I will make him into a great nation. And as Hagar opened her eyes, there in front of her was a well, a well full of fresh water for them both to drink from. Sometimes the only thing we can do in our absolute moment of desperation is to cry out to God. The Bible is full of broken people who make no attempt to understand why God was testing them so fiercely. The story in Genesis is echoed so many times, even in the Psalms by King David, where he feels distant and alone. In those moments, all we can do is trust that the God who thousands of years ago turned his eyes to Hagar and Ishmael and David will again turn his eyes to see us in our despair. Even if it feels like we're completely out of his sight, God's holy nature sees all, hears all, and his perfect judgment means we are never unaccounted for or lost in his sight. His ways for our lives can be mysterious, but they're never unplanned for. You're seen, whether you can see it or not.